this video we'll be taking a look at another example of the quotient rule. So just to go back over the steps for applying the quotient rule, we have to identify u and v first, then differentiate them to get du dx and dv dx so that we can sub them into our given formula. Once we've subbed them in, we complete our multiplication and any addition or subtraction to simplify the equation. So this is our example. We're differentiating 4x cubed minus 3x over 2x squared plus 7. So we obviously apply the quotient rule because it's one function over another. So first we identify u and v. So it's always u over v. So u will be the top line or the numerator and v will be the bottom line or the denominator. So we know u is equal to 4x cubed minus 3x and v is equal to 2x squared plus 7. So next we differentiate them. Differentiate u, you get du dx. So 4x cubed, when we differentiate it, get 12x squared minus 3x differentiates to minus 3. Differentiate v, 2x squared, differentiate that, we get 4x plus 7, any constant differentiates to 0. So at this point, we've step 1 and step 2 completed. So we'll just sub for u, v, du dx, and dv dx in the formula. So you'll see on the right hand side, we have the terms that we've just figured out. And here, we have the formula we need to apply. So it's v times du dx. So v is 2x squared plus 7 multiplied by du dx, which is 12x squared minus 3. Put in our minus, u is 4x cubed minus 3x. Put our brackets around it by dv dx, which is 4x. And that's all over v squared, which is 2x squared plus 7. So next we multiply out what we have here. So we have 2x squared plus 7 by 12x squared minus 3. So 2x squared by 12x squared gives 24x to the power of 4. 2x squared by minus 3 gives minus 6x squared. 7 by 12x squared, that will give us 84x squared. And 7 by minus 3 gives us minus 21. Next, we have minus 4x cubed minus 3x by 4x. So we'll put in our minus, keep our brackets. 4x cubed by 4x gives us 16x to the power of 4. Minus 3x by 4x gives minus 12x squared. And that's all over 2x squared plus 7 to be squared. So you can leave the bottom line as it is. There's no real need to square that out. Next, we'll just get rid of the brackets. So we have 24x to the power of 4. So we have minus 16x to the power of 4. Minus by minus gives us plus 12x squared. Next, it's just a case of simplifying it out, so match like with like. So we have 24x to the power of 4 minus 16x to the power of 4 leaves us with 8x to the power of 4. So mark them off as you go along. Next, we have minus 6x squared. That will give us 78x squared plus 12x squared, so that's plus 90x squared. And finally, we have minus 21. That's as simple as it gets. So there's our final answer. At this point we've completed two of the four examples. There are two more here for you to try. Pause this point if you wish to view them. Here are the solutions for those problems.